We are going to be working with your dream body today, but it can happen that you will feel some tingling in your actual physical body as well, which is fine, and you might also experience drowsiness, and you might also feel asleep watching this video. So just wanted to inform you about that, so watch at your own risk. If you enjoy these types of videos, if you like ASMR, tarot, and esoteric stuff, you may subscribe to my channel, and you can also book a tarot reading with me on my website. But I also would like to encourage you to leave comments, because I read all the comments, and I greatly enjoy them, and that's a good way to start a conversation. So here we are. You're laying down, or sitting, in a comfortable position, and you might already notice a kind of heaviness, like it's a little bit difficult to keep your eyes open. And that's normal. That's completely fine. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. I would just like to ask you to notice where you're feeling this heaviness. The most likely answer is, is that you're feeling it in your eyelids. So, normally, when we are awake, we energetically occupy this space. So this is where most of consciousness happens, at least this is what it feels like to us. It's as though we live in our heads, and this is kind of like the control center of consciousness and everything radiates from here. And there are ways to change this type of modus operandi. It's possible to get out of your head and be present somewhere else in your body and gain a different perspective. So we're going to try to start with that. And I would also like to mention here that your shoulders and your neck area are important parts where tension and stress can be stored. So after an overwhelming day or difficult situations, conflicts, you might feel mentally like you're fine, but the reality is, and your shoulders and your neck are going to be telling you that you're storing a lot of stress and emotional baggage and pain in these areas. So I would like you to check in with your physical body now and try to feel and get kind of a, an assessment of how you're feeling when it comes to your shoulders and your neck area. Are you feeling any pain? You might even give yourself a little bit of a light massage here. And also just feel how the 
the energetic body, the dream body, is targeted with this drawing meditation at the same time. And we are moving towards the heart area. This is where a lot of emotional processing happens. Do you know that feeling when your heart sinks? Or when you're so happy that your heart is kind of almost exploding? So there's definitely a strong connection with intense emotions here in this area. And I would like you to kind of feel what's going on here for you right now. What it is that's happening at this present moment. And we're also making an effort to relax the arms of the physical body, consciously paying attention to this area, the left arm and the right arm, and also as we're moving down the area of the hips, thighs the knees the calves and the feet The feet are so important. And you might give yourself a little bit of a rub on your feet if you feel like it. Most of us, I don't think I'm too wrong if I say that most of us are uh, wear shoes throughout the day. And sometimes when you get out of your shoes, you can feel this kind of boxed in feeling like your your feet have been imprisoned the whole day and they're still kind of um, crampy or whatever so your feet are so important your physical feet are so important to how you're carrying yourself They are the basis, the foundation. They're very important. Okay, so now that we have relaxed the physical body, it's time to start working on the dream body a little more intensely. And I'm actually going to draw the outlines first. And we're going to make our way towards the internal from the external. So what happens when you're dreaming is, is that you're switching to a different modality that in essence is very similar to your experiences with your physical body and the dream body is kind of a in a sense, it's a, a duplicate. It's a copy of the uh, sum of your interactions or the essence of your interactions that you've had in a physical space. It's a memory of what it's like to interact with the physical interface of reality. And so you, you're using those experiences and those modalities in your sleep, in your dream. You are experiencing very similar physical sensations. 
and you are using the body in accordance with, at least to a degree, in accordance with the laws of physics that exist in our waking world. And the interesting thing is, is that you can collect some tension, some extra tension in your dream body just by way of interacting with the dream world. So, we're going to use this time to release some of that stress that you have collected in the dream body. And so, we're actually going to start with your dream shoulders. Your dream shoulders are just a little bit off to your actual physical shoulders. It depends on the person, but they might be a little bit above or behind. They may be internal to the body. Where they are located is, is, is something that is very unique to the person. But I'm encouraging you to find your dream shoulders and try to relax them. And then your dream neck. It might even be far away from you because you might be dreaming already, so your dream neck might be across the room or maybe in another room. Who knows? But you can find it, identify it, and relax it. And so can your dream head be relaxed as well. This part, the dream head, is your main connection with the dream world. And your dream hearts can also be released from the cage of the physical body. And your dream arms, they help you make your plans come true in the dream world. And they can be a little bit tired, but you can relax them. You can make them light and active. And your torso, your dream torso, and your dream hips, and your dream thighs, and your dream legs, And your dream feet. Okay. We are now going to pull a card to give you some guidance in the dream world. You might already be sleeping and perhaps it's just a part of your consciousness that listens to this. Another part of it might be occupied with something else, and that's okay. So I'm giving you a dream message. And we're gonna see what the cards would like you to know. So in your dream today, you are the Knight of Cups, the Horseman of Cups. You are the Knight, you're sitting on a horse, and you're making your way 
towards a deeper emotional reality that is unaccessible to you in your waking consciousness. And that's fine. Because that's the reason why you're dreaming. You're dreaming to be able to exceed your own limitations. And so, you're making your way deeper and deeper into the dream reality. And you are becoming more and more involved in the process. And you are physically experiencing the ups and downs, the illusion is almost perfect, but it's only your dream body. You cannot get hurt. So you are here to explore some feelings and needs that cannot be spoken in waking reality, but they are real and they are valid. And it's completely fine that you are here to explore them. Good luck to you.